Hello everyone. I have a 2006 Toyota Highlander that has defective power window master switch. The problem with this master switch is that the uh, driver side rear window goes down with the master switch but it doesn't go up. Take a look. It goes down but it doesn't go up. So to raise the window glass up I have to use the switch on the rear door itself. So imagine doing that while driving the car at 70 mile an hour on highway which is not safe. So the big huge problem with these master switches that and um, master switch in any car for that matter is that during rainy season or snow um, water if water lands on top of the master switch it make its way down through these crevices into the body of the master switch and especially if the water gets into the circuit board it causes a problem in the circuit board so most commonly what it causes is that the, it can corrode the copper circuit printed circuit lines and it also can damage some kind of conducting material they put which I'm gonna show you in a little while some kind of conducting material they use to transfer circuit line from one side to the other and uh, uh, so water is a primary problem in this one but technically this plastic that has a switch on it is designed to protect it from any moisture that comes from the top but because in these cars in these cars because this circuit line uh, board is designed set, set in a, an inclined position whatever water gets in there pulls to the lower end and most of the corrosion ha happen at that lower end so mine has some corrosion in here as you see that is a lower end but it's still functional the other big problem is that uh, they ha because they have to crimp a lot of circuit circuitry in this small board they used both sides of the board so the earlier one is a component side and this is a switch side let's take a closer look at this board the good thing about this board is that they clearly labeled which switch is for what purpose so that helps you to narrow down your, the search for the problem so by the way when we turn on the switch what we do is just connect these two dark terminals and uh, that causes some current flow towards a relay the relay will be trickled, uh, triggered and uh, send more power to the window motor raising it or lowering it and um, uh, because my problem is the uh, rear left up so let's focus on that area that I have the problem with so um, as you see the terminal the, I labeled the terminal the terminal that I labeled F is connected to a large printed circuit as you see so I didn't find any problem with it and it's shared by the others too but focus on terminal E so that terminal E goes to point D so I checked the continuity it is fine no issues and at point D because they don't have room here so they drill the hole put some kind of conducting material in the hole and uh, goes to the other side and it comes out through A so from A it goes to point B at point B because they don't have room here again uh, they drill the hole put some kind of conducting material as you see at point D that dark thing is uh, that conducting material they put in there and it goes back to the other side so I checked the continuity between uh, the other side of hole A and this side of hole A no continuity I checked continuity between A and B it was fine there was continuity I checked continuity on the other side after B there was continuity no issue at all so my problem ended up in that hole so the other problem the water can cause is that it dissolves that those materials I don't know why they put they could put wires through that hole but they put some kind of conducting materials that may be dissolved by the water I don't know so what I did was I drilled out whatever conducting material they put in there uh, with tiny tiny drill manually so you don't want to use a machine on this one uh, and uh, I scratched the printed circuit around with uh, to make contact so put a bare wire through and uh, twisted it so that it can make contact with this side and the other side of the printed circuit and uh, put it back in the case and tested it on the car and it worked the window goes up so I took it out and trimmed the wire and the solder right there 
So sorry I didn't do uh, a good soldering, but that solved my problem. So a big advice in here is that uh, during rain or snow, don't let any moisture on top of your master switch, especially when it is snowing. If you leave your car in a big during big snow day and a pile of snow is on top of your car and when you go open your driver's side door and a bunch of snow fall between your car seat and the door and some of that snow falls on top of your master switch that can make its way deep if you don't clean it right away so whenever snow or water gets on top of your master switch clean it away or if it is liquid absorb it with some kind of tissue or something so just minimize the risk of water getting into your master switch circuit board that's the key point so i thought about replacing it before i decided to repair it uh, i looked around on ebay and amazon as a uh, used ones the cheapest i found is right around 100 and up up to 300 400 and a uh, new one from a dealer is at 500 I hope this helps somebody out there who has the same problem like mine. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.